Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I am your host, Derek Schulmer, and today I'm not doing a cocktail today. This is this is a break time, um, taking a little time out of my schedule for a couple things. First off, to wish everybody Happy New Year. Uh, we didn't do any specific ha- uh, specific New Year episodes this year. It was really busy, um, but I still wanted to at least approach it and let everybody know that they should have a Happy New Year. Uh, so we're looking forward to some new stuff. I don't know what we're going to end up doing this year, but every year is a little different. Uh, hopefully it'll be be cool and everybody that has watched will continue to watch our show. Um, by the end of the year, well, hopefully by the summertime, we should have our new set done. i got to do a video of that. That'll That's to come as well. I'll show you that. Um, but what I wanted to do is just show off this thing we got from Crown Royal. Um, when we had a couple uh, last month, I think, we did the Pass the Crown uh, contest where I had asked you guys, should I open up my gift that Crown Royal was sending me? Oh, it was a naughty Santa, or whatever Yankee Swap type contest with other bloggers and other other websites. Um, and so I had opened my gift, and it turned out to be Crown Royal XR, I think. And my gift was stolen. Uh, I then received sports watch or yeah, some sort of sports watch, which is eh, whatever. And then somebody stole that, which was great. And so when they opened the gift, it was a Soho decanter with four of these cool crystal glasses, $199 value. And it's it's really neat right now. I've got my Belvini 12, which was uh, suggested from um, Curtis when he was a guest on the show and he had brought it on, so I liked it. I went out and bought it, threw it in my decanter. Then what Crown did is they sent us a second one and they said, give this to one of your viewers or, or somebody that has made an impact or whatever for the show or just give it away, whatever you want to do. So, what I wanted to do is give it to Bob and Ellie, and what they've done is they've been donating, <clears throat> excuse me, donating on the show, which is everydaydrinkers.com slash donate, for multiple years, every month. They never fail, and um, so it's nice to see the support from, from the audience. <clears throat> so here, these are going to go out to you guys. I already sent them a message to let them know what was going on and make sure they wanted it. Um, so that's kind of, and, and the reason I wanted to kind of broadcast that, besides the fact that Crown Royal did this cool contest and shipped us this stuff with a second one to give to to somebody, you know, that watches the show or interacts with us. We have a lot of people that interact with us. We have people who comment every day, right? They're always there commenting. I mean, besides the first, second, third, fourth, all that bull crap. The actual comments that have feedback. We have continuing growing interaction on our live stream on typically Friday nights at 7.30 Eastern time. Um, that's GMT minus five. And because people keep asking, how do I get involved? And they have a chat channel. I was thinking of maybe making our own chat server or something to be able to have that interaction as well but with all the, that interaction i've got to know a lot of the usernames a lot of the real names like bob ellie um brad it, there's you know tons of alex's and joe's and john's and and so at the end of the day what was originally just a channel where we made a cocktail or three cocktails a week then five cocktails a week has turned into a bunch of people who continue to watch the show interact submit recipes submit critiques right not the people who just say your recipes suck but you know where where Brad will come in and say oh you just got um, some orange flower water here's a recipe for you or I would do this or you should dry shake this for 12 minutes you'll see that episode later um, and and out of all that interaction and tasting videos and when what people have suggested us to try the the community interaction has been awesome um, and the reason like right away I thought of Bob and Ellie for this because <clears throat> they've been donating for for so long and they've they, they don't get to watch every single episode right away they're not they're commenting every day but there's a lot of other interaction that goes on they also send us tons of t-shirts with like cool sayings on them anytime they see them in the store and it says awesome whatever they think of our show and they pick it up and they send it and so you know then we have Eric who does you know a lot of our new logoed glasses? He uh, he did read the um, the background for us, the EverydayDrinkers.com instead of .tv, and he sent us some other stuff. I have a hypnotic highlighter thing around here too, and y- y- people continue to interact, and it's it's continuing to grow bigger. And the, even though that there's only maybe two to five percent of the people that are that fully immersed in the show, as you know, talking to me as a human as opposed to just making the talk cocktail and moving on, um, that actually value what we do and our efforts here, it's it's amazing. So going into the next year, I hope to continue that 
and to be able to get you know other opportunities to give out cool stuff to, to folks who have really committed to the show more than just you know word of mouth is a huge commitment to be able to tell your friends that hey this show exists and you should you should check it out that's the biggest growth that you can have in an industry any industry you know be that a store or you know a mom and pop store to a big chain outlet anything like that if there's a good word of mouth that holds so much more value than a 30 cent click or an advertisement. So just consider when you tell your friends you should check us out how much value that is to us as a, as a show based on the fact that we make our money through donations, pre-rolls, any type of sponsorships I can get, which I, I just haven't had a lot of time to, to grow. Um, hopefully in the future I'll be able to grow those. And, and then you know committing forward on the store we're going to be buying, awesomedrinks.com, to be able to help promote us there as well. And I've already had people who interact and buy their stuff because of us. So going forward, I'm, I'm excited to see what we're gonna be doing. But that's it. That is the, the Soho decanter. This is my Belvini 12 double wood. Me and Doug, Doug drank out of these the other night. A couple of big balls of glass, balls of ice sat down and felt like we were, we, we were doing a, we are rolling deep. <laughs> so, now I thank everybody. Hope you all have a good New Year's. This is to you. Um, remember, don't do not do anything stupid on New Year's because I, I, I request that you be here on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th so that you can continue, continue to watch our show and increase our views. And uh, stay safe, stay happy. Talk to you guys later. We're teaching you how to drink.